how to pick a good curve monitor that provides you with some extra space on your display. Awesome for tuning in guys. Today we're gonna to look at an LG ultra wide curve monitor. And as you can see here, we have a 34 inch monitor with the 21 by nine aspect ratio. And uh, particularly I like about this display, it has an IPS panel. As you may know, I have an IPS panels fan. And uh, to give you an overview of the different panel types, here in the side card, we have the twisted pneumatic panels, we have the vertical alignment panels and the all fame IPS, the in-plane switching, which that's my preferred monitor type because it gives you great viewing angles in my opinion and colors are better in my opinion. Another great aspect about this LG Ultra Wide is that it has two HDMI inputs at the back, as you can see here, it has a display port and also always a good consideration when you're purchasing a monitor, the USB-C um, and maybe you can already guess it because it's a curved monitor. In my opinion, it's a it's great for gaming because gaming uh, maybe put a gaming shot as an overlay here. As you can see, very immersive. You have this extra space at the side compared to the normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But because it has the USB-C, which you can pay attention to, uh, you could also use it for uh, office tasks. So let's check out this LG Ultra Wide. Should be a great budget monitor for a variety of uses. And having a quick look inside the box, you can see those are the cables that included an external power supply. And I see a HDMI cable right here that you can use to connect your computer. And I see the USB-C cable for your notebooks slash MacBooks. That's what we're gonna test. Display port cable I did not see. And because the monitor is curved, I recommend you to put something on your desk below when you put that there. Quickly moving the box aside and removing the packaging material. Maybe get a second person if you're not sure. Uh, keep the monitor safe. I'm pretty used to that. Removing the material and then put it flat on your desk. Grab the monitor arm and we can very easily clip that into place. But one thing important to remember uh, when you fixate this first by hand, also take a screwdriver afterwards and tighten it down a little bit. And we are ready, ready to go. Monitor is assembled and I'm going to show you this uh, LG display in the review. And what are the things that I noticed so far? First of all, it's a very bright display and has very nice colors like you expect from most LGs. But here in the side card, you can see monitor size and resolution. Obviously, like I told you initially, this is a 21 by nine aspect ratio, which means you have a little bit extra space or you have significantly more extra space at both sides. Therefore, also here their curvature. I did also test a slightly bigger uh, ASUS Designio that I liked, uh, to be quite honest, uh, liked a bit more, simply because it gave you some extra space uh, at the side a little bit here and also at the bottom. And while that may not look a little look like a lot, if you have a little bit more space at the bottom and a little bit more space at the side, it does feel more roomy uh, to give you the overview. Those are the, the aspect ratios that are common. You have the 16 by nine, the normal one, then the 21 by nine, like we have here. And the super wide, super wides can be quite interesting, but I think ultra wides uh, is more my cup of tea, simply because if you have uh, the super wides, the 32 by nine, then you could imagine your speakers would disappear behind the screen. That's how it was when I tested the Odyssey. And uh, yeah, these 21 by nines are, I think, the nice middle ground between 16 by nine and 32 by nine. But guys, I digress. Let's quickly check whether we have better results with changing the fonts uh, when connecting this to the MacBook Pro here. And as you can see, it offers you, you just, uh, it detects the USB-C connection. You just select yes. And then once I have done that, what I like to check is, does it charge correctly? Yes, it does charge correctly. It transports the display signal. So the um, display works as a docking station. But my uh, impression so far is that this is probably more geared towards Windows users. So if you're a Windows user, you're probably much more happier with this LG because if I go to scaled here as well, you see, I don't have the scaled options. I can only lower the resolutions then the fonts get bigger, but I lose some sharpness. That seems to be an unfortunate thing that I would speculate has to do with the monitor because I have tested other LGs 
uh, where that was not the case. So let's go right back. And yeah, one thing I want to point out, this is also height adjustable. That's very nice. Uh, some displays, they are not height adjustable. So keep an eye out for that so that you're not missing that. And a final thing is always check the settings. Because one thing in general, no matter whether you use Windows or Mac, is I would recommend you to go to the energy saving function because uh, usually I do not like to use this energy, uh, conserve energy by using luminance compensation algorithm because the algorithm in order to conserve energy, uh, it will do something with the backlight. So I recommend you to turn this off and see whether you like that more. And excellent, after testing the LG uh, ultra wide monitor for gaming, I would have to say that would be my preferred use scenario. These uh, 21 by nine curved monitors, very nice for gaming, uh, especially this one. And uh, yeah, I mean, you see the colors are very nice. I have a little bit of light bouncing off here because I have natural light coming into my room, but that's perfectly okay. And guys, I encourage you to check out a 21 by nine inch monitor if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, let's jump to the conclusion. Wonderful. And what is my conclusion after having used this LG curved ultra wide monitor for a couple of weeks, almost a month? I have to say it's a very nice monitor if you consider one limitation that I found. Um, as you may know, 21 by 9 aspect ratio, you see very nice colors and great also because it has the USB-C. However, as I tested this with the MacBook, as you have seen in the video, to change the resolution settings here, not as ideal as, for example, the ASUS uh, Designio that I did. The ASUS Designio had better uh, options to scale it, at least on the Mac. Um, so that's why I would say this LG is best if you're a Windows user or, for example, if you like gaming. But overall, this monitor gets a thumbs up if you know its limitations and its strength. Also works great with the Apple TV if you want to connect the HDMI. Awesome for tuning in. Let's get rolling with the next video. And I see you as a subscriber. Take care. And because you just watched one of my reviews, you might also be interested in comparing the products that I just showed you against, for example, this LG ultra wide 4K monitor, which is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So normally the displays all have 16 by 9, but the ultra wides give you some extra flexibility. And uh, especially the curved ones are great for gaming, but I'm more a video editing guy. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. Take care.